I'm happy to say good afternoon. Uh, it's better than other combinations of words. Uh, um, yeah, uh, we're, we're now at the final session, so uh, I will start. I will actually be try to be very brief because I don't think I will tell very new things. And in the subsequent uh, talks, there will be much more detailed things about education. So I will just give a, a, a background. So, uh, okay, well, minor detail. So, not the educational role, uh, and, 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 and generally speaking, track, uh, it is really a training of the next generation. As Tina uh, pointed out, we have already three generations, and the fourth is on, on its way. Uh, and of course, that also means they, they need to, to learn things, and, and, and there are very different levels to this. Simple thing is actually why, why we want to do this. I, mean, I think there are, it makes funny noises, actually, if I... Anyway, uh, details. Um, so why? Uh, there, are, there are different levels. Uh, I think that's also uh, a task of the knot towards the general community and also the specific community of astronomers. One is just science in general. And then I'm thinking like, like high school students, fine, uh, at the end of, 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 of your uh, secondary school. There you already uh, start to think about uh, promoting science, making it more uh, attractive to people. And astronomy is actually a very good uh, vehicle because it's very, uh, I would always, uh, astronomy is sexy. There's nice pictures, uh, things easy to uh, understand, talk about uh, exoplanets and stuff like that, supernova, black holes, they're always good. Then you have just the basic astronomy and then you already talk about uh, university students, not necessarily astronomy, but you might actually promote it. Certainly, in physics, students uh, might be interested in astronomy, and, and then probably our main task would be on the on the professional astronomy part. Yeah? So you have master and PhD students, uh, the ropes yeah? uh, from application to uh, observation to reduction and, and, uh, and publication. So uh, how do you do this? Okay, so in principle, there are just two ways. Uh, one, of course, the observing courses which I will say a bit more about, and the other part is, of course, oh, sorry, that went too far. the student program, and uh, Hans will tell much more about this at the very end. Um, I'll just give uh, only a very brief uh, overview of what we have, what, what we actually offer. So uh, we have on-site courses, actually, and, and that a lot of these things started with that. Uh, uh, nowadays, uh, it's all remote, but, but originally uh, we're talking about uh, being here actually at the, at the telescope, yeah, truly uh, hands-on at the telescope, being in the control room and, and, uh, and learning things directly. And uh, do we actually, hey, you have like a classroom, uh, we provide actually a classroom in the... Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, you, you see here the telescope, and uh, uh, there's also a building in front of it, pristine snow. Of course, discovered by uh, Norwegian, they're always the first to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, in this case, it was also true, you don't see any uh, steps in the snow. In front of the telescope, you have the service building, and, and actually we can transform the service building to a classroom. And uh, this gives you an approximate, uh, this very old picture when, when I still had hair, and that color, uh, but you can see that this is actually where, where normally the, 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 the kitchen area is, and, and you can sit. Oh, let's see. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. So yeah, uh, what we have done is we have set up two projectors, and they actually show you what uh, observers see in the control room. So in principle, this is the observing system. I'm explaining you something. And in front of this, we have a number of tables can set up. They are very similar to the tables you have here, same size, and, and you can sit actually three or four per row. And uh, what we normally do then is you have uh, uh, people in the control room itself, typically two or three, but plus a teacher or so, you cannot fit in too many, and, and the rest of the students can sit and, and see, and you can on the fly actually explain what is going on. So the, at the same time, you have uh, students in the control room doing things, observing, taking exposures, whatever, and having their, their teacher or instructor with them. And at the same time, live, literally, literally you, can, you can view what is going on in, in the service building and uh, interact, etc. 
And then the idea would be that in groups, they go to the telescope and take over. So you go in uh, two hours, one group, then the next group, the next group, etc. So that's what we provide uh, for on-site courses. Of course, yeah, there are many more details behind it, but that is uh, too, too much to explain now. And of course, we have the remote solar courses. Um, in principle, you see uh, uh, even more like what you see in the, in, in the control room. You basically just have a VNC connection, and you just open the observing system, and you just run it as being in the control room. Of course, there are, it, it's not the same. Eh? Uh, you're a distant, but you can, in principle, uh, uh, just type the same things as you would do in the control room. Um, uh, the, 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 it is not precisely the same as the real experience because you cannot walk outside and look uh, at the sky, etc. You don't feel the telescope moving, and you don't hear sounds, etc. So, of course, you, there are, uh, uh, um, how do you call this, uh, facilities to make it easier. Uh, um, partly, we actually just have people in the, te in the control room, uh, partly to, to check what is going on. Uh, that is also the safety part. Uh, that people do not do strange things, and you need to know. I mean, if the telescope doesn't close and the wild is raining, there needs to be somebody there. Uh, but at the same time, that person can also help you with, with uh, the observations itself. Uh, we have various things. We have, uh, uh, um, how to call this, a Skype uh, connection set up. There are some other facilities. Uh, automatically downloading of the data. Uh, there are cameras you can use to look at what is going on, etc. So there are it goes a bit more than just only seeing the observing uh, system. Uh, there, there's uh, more detail to it. Uh, you might, this, this is actually a remote course, I believe in Sweden, if I remember correctly. But you see uh, the same thing actually as before. But this is now a system that uh, is being run here. They're observing here in that control room, sorry, in that uh, room somewhere in the Nordic countries. And uh, at the same time, all the other people that are not using the observing system can see it as well. So this is a very similarity between the different setups, uh, except that this is from a distance. Of course, there's a lot of preparation involved, et cetera, but that is, uh, that, that is uh, what I call this also well-defined. Um, so the usage, eh, what, what we do with it is, uh, again, uh, as we, I did in my very first talk at the beginning uh, of the, the, the workshop, uh, this is about what changes over the last 10 years or so. So when we talk about uh, 10 years ago, there were like something five nights per semester, and, and say two courses in total. Uh, and nowadays we're talking about 10 nights per semester, maybe even more. And so actually 20 nights a year that are done in courses. It uh, used to be actually in the beginning certainly mostly on-site, and nowadays uh, basically F all of the courses are uh, remote. But uh, I would like to promote uh, the on-site course because it does help to come and be at the telescope. In the last summer, we nearly made it for the Danish course. And hopefully, this time we get there. Good. Uh, what kind of uh, courses we have had? And really a large, I mean, I only will list uh, some of them, not even all of them. But there are international schools, uh, uh, neon schools, opticon stuff. No four schools, we have also had radio uh, and optical courses together uh, and near infrared. Uh, we have actually a Nordic Astrobiology Network a course, uh, goes even this way. it goes wider in, in natural sciences. Uh, we also have uh, basically all the different uh, uh, Nordic countries uh, university courses, and nowadays they are effectively all more national courses that are done at one of the universities. And uh, you you might also see it, uh, and, and you get later a talk from Norway, which I think is the last to join in doing the annual courses, which I'm, I'm very happy with. And and actually, my my one of my favorites uh, uh, is actually we have a, a high school, the Horten High School, and Jan Kron, just here in the back, he, he actually organizes these things, and this so uh, this is um, a high school students. They come and they're not, and they learn these things. Really very, I find that very, yeah, I don't know, interesting and exciting that you can do these things and that you can teach uh, already yeah, uh, uh, 17, 18 year olds these kind of things. Um, so, 
what is needed if you want to actually give a course. I mean, I'm trying to, to give you this very broad overview of what, uh, what we provide and, 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 and what you need to do. And it's actually rather simple. It sends an application to me. Uh, there is no specific application form, so but you just should give a description of what is your general plan, how much time you would need, etc. Uh, this is sent, uh, sorry, yeah, this is a very important point. Uh, uh, the idea is always that, that there is some uh, sensible science done. Uh, uh, you do not come there, you just point the telescope at whatever. You do a light curve of an hour lyra, that's maybe not so extremely exciting. Um, but there must be a bit of, of real science in it. So the idea is that you always have research affiliated with the university that is uh, included in the proposal. So there's a, there's a professional science side to it. Uh, by the way, uh, this can be from any country. There is no limitations in itself a priori uh, to being in, in, in the Nordic countries. So this is actually sent to our time allocation committee for review. They should just say, yeah, this is uh, sensible science, a sensible educational use of the telescope. Yes, that there is a certain, yeah, that the idea is also that it's really useful and that it's just not uh, using the telescope. Um, then a recommendation comes out of that. Uh, in principle, to me, and depending on the situation, you have certain courses that they come back every year. So uh, there's only in the beginning there's a certain question about if, the, if this is a uh, uh, really good uh, use of time or not. Uh, and then the council get, might be involved. But normally, this is a fairly straightforward process. If OPC agrees, then there is little reason to, to not do it. Uh, for the courses itself, uh, there, there's, there's of course preparation involved and, uh, and also in the ex execution itself. Depending if you are a, a remote course or, or on site, there are things that need to be arranged. In, in, in the case of a remote course, you have of course internet uh, that needs to be checked. Uh, the whole program needs to be prepared in advance, etc. In the case of an uh, on-site course, this is a bit different. It's more like uh, logistics, traveling here, coming here, lodging, driving up and down. So uh, we, in principle, our administration is also used to this. Uh, we have done it quite a few times. So it is in principle all included if you want. And the only thing you need now is uh, if you want to do a remote course, uh, uh, internet connection. That's really, truly, I'm, I'm, I'm well on track, so <laughs> might be uh, ready early. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> the internet connection, very, very, yeah, it's strange normally. I. Uh, I talk too much, but anyway, so now you already cost me to lose a minute, so that goes fine. So, <laughs> I'll lose. So, internet connection is very fundamental, but we have done this uh, uh, everywhere and anywhere, and already for the last 20 years. So, uh, one of the first remote courses we also did actually in uh, good old days. Uh, if not, uh, prepare to, uh, to travel and come here. We can actually use the telescope and learn about all these things, yeah. proposing, executing, data analysis, etc. So uh, for the rest, I mean, there's many more information, but actually the, our educational web pages, which you can find here, uh, are actually rather complete. So you can uh, go and look there if you want to have more information. And that was it.